Hi everyone, I have another tutorial to share with you using some of your elastic. So when I was writing in my traveler's notebook, I noticed that, let me take this one out, the pages would tend to, so for example, you know, when I write on here, the pages would just keep flopping and it just got to a point where it just started to bug me. So then I thought, you know what? Let me just make an elastic band to go around it. Because I would use like one of these really thick paper clips, but then you could see it can only hold, you know, it can only hold so much paper. So with the elastic band, it will hold all of it. And then you got a cute little dangly charm at the bottom, which is super cute. And so you can see it holds all of it. You can also use a two, two millimeter elastic, which is much thicker, and it holds it nicer because I like, you know, really chunky traveler's notebooks. So you can use that, and it makes it a whole lot easier, and it doesn't flop back and forth. Okay, so here's another one I made this cute little owl and a Tim Holtz token. This one's a cute little owl and it has a cute little coffee mug. And I picked these up at Joanne. Okay, so let's make one. So you're gonna need some, again, some one millimeter elastic. And let's see here. I don't measure it. Just, let's get this one. So I don't measure it, I just take some elastic. And what you're going to do is you're going to, wherever you're going to create it for, whether it's a notebook, your traveler's notebook, you're going to go around that page, okay? And then you're just going to pinch the bottom. You're going to leave enough to where you're going to add some charms. So I don't pinch it really tight because, again, it's going to wrap around a lot of pages. So just leave it a little bit loose. Okay, and then you're just going to pull it out, and then you'll tie a knot. So let's cut this first. So you're going to tie a knot. So let's tie the knot. And then I just like to place it over at the pages again, make sure. Okay. See, I made it a little too loose, so let me adjust that. So you can adjust it as you go. So you make it a little tighter. Okay, that should be better. Okay, that's much better. Okay, and then um, you you know you create your knot, and then you're gonna cut one of the strands a little bit smaller. And I usually like to um, take the charm as my guide, and I don't want the elastic to go past the charm. I mean, you could, but if you do that, of course it's gonna have to fit in that second um, charm. So. I like it to fit within that first charm. So let me just cut a little bit more out. Okay, so now let's run a little charm through. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Then you're gonna add your next charm, which is this red bead. So you can add as many charms as you need two, I'll put this little one right here, this little silver one. Yeah. So this can also work for your planner, it can work for your notebook. Makes it a whole lot easier. Okay. And then I'm going to add this little 
Tim Holtz token that has a jump ring on it. So I'm just going to run the jump ring through and then I'm going to tie a knot. So let's tie a knot there. I'm going to get as close to the bottom of that last charm as possible. And I'm going to snip this off. Okay, so and then you get something like this. And then you're going to see, wraps around the pages. And it's super cute. And then when you close your little traveler's notebook, you get all these cute little dangly charms on the bottom. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now here's another idea. Now you could do this with your traveler's notebook, just regular journal books, notebooks. So I bought a lot of these buttons from Paper Tray Ink and all I did was take some elastic and I'll show you how to do this. So you're going to place it through, I mean just put it in the center. You're going to take your elastic, it's going to wrap around and then you got a closure. Okay, you can do this also with your traveler's notebook. So here's the laminated one. I'll show you. I made these ones for my sister. So again, so if you make these laminated notebooks and you don't want to do this part right here, you could do this. So you just go around. that creates closure like that. Okay, super cute, right? So let me show you how quick and easy this is. So you're just going to need a large button. So let's take a large button from this back here. You're going to take some elastic. And what you're going to do is you're going to double it like so, okay? Wherever you're wrapping it around, you just go like that put it underneath and then you're just going to line it up and then you're just going to meet in the middle like so okay you're just going to meet in the middle and then you're just going to cut now you're going to take one end of the elastic in your button so the t this is the top of the button you're going to take the elastic run it through that hole Take the other end of the elastic and run it through that other hole. It'll look like this. Okay, then you're going to take the two ends, and you're going to tie a knot, get as close to the end as you can, just leaving a little bit. Like so. Okay, and then I like to cut it to give it a cleaner look to it, okay? Now you're going to take the elastic and you're going to pull basically you're going to pull till this piece touches the back of this button. You don't want it to be longer than the button because again it's going to show so you want to stay within the button, okay? And that's all you do. Then you place it right in the center take your elastic wrap it around and you got yourself a closure. Super fun, right? And then, you know, if you have vintage buttons, it looks super pretty. If you're making like a vintage journal book, really fun. So give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.